extra minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-two minutes. <sighs> like I have quite big lungs, eight plus liters, and then because of this training, I can pump in more air and and reach about 14 liters. So you can nearly double it. Yeah, yeah. So 14 liters is about the double of a normal person. For this Guinness World Record, Steve was allowed to flood his body with pure oxygen before he took his final breath. We have to explain also that when I did the Guinness World Record of 22 minutes, it's, it's, a, it's a Guinness World Record where you're allowed to inhale oxygen prior to the dive, meaning that you fill your lungs and your blood system with 100% with pure oxygen. So what he's doing is uh, uh, something called medically pre-oxygenating. So our blood carries oxygen on the backs of hemoglobin. They're cells, they're like little you know, circular things floating around our blood and they can hold the oxygen. They're vehicles that the blood has for oxygen delivery. Dr. Rahul Jandial is a neurosurgeon and scientist who has tested Steve's capabilities under high pressure situations. So now he's got a reserve while he's holding his breath and that blood is circulating through his brain, the brain can still pull out some oxygen for its uh, nutritional and fuel needs. So how many more minutes would that give him? It's hard for me to say, but for me, you know, if I could hold my breath a couple of minutes, that might add another minute or two. So again, he is taking that technique that assists him, but he really pushes it to the 